to leave this apartment now. Our flight is at night, but the checkout time over here is 12. So, some last minute cooking we are doing. Burger with sausage we are going to have. And some french fries. And we are almost done with the packing. Ready to leave Dubai. But before that, we are going to visit Jumeirah Beach. Palm Jumeirah. So, our plan is like, uh, we'll go from here to the Jumeirah Beach. And we'll spend some time, like, uh, till 4 o'clock we can uh, stay up there. And after that, uh, we will come to this uh, apartment. Actually, we will keep this luggages to the uh, balcony. The uh, owner is very good. Is very cooperative he asked that uh, you can keep your lug uh, you can keep your luggage at the balcony so that uh, we can roam around with the free hands so the plan is now uh, going to Jumeirah, coming back taking the luggages back and then heading towards the airport and saying bye bye dubai it was a short trip but yet very much memorable so many things together like FIFA World Cup, exploring new city, international trip first time and this apartment is my god. I'm not feeling like to leave this apartment. The location, the area that I, I, I don't feel to leave this apartment. So our destination is Atlantis today. Uh, this is internet metro street city and uh, we are waiting for a taxi or bus something to pick us up and we are going to visit atlantis so taxi will take uh, eight minutes from this place and uh, if you travel by bus and then metro then it will uh, take uh, 40 to 50 minutes so it's convenient to take a taxi so we are waiting for a taxi to come So shortly we got the taxi and it will take 26 dirham to reach Atlantis uh, from Internet City Metro Station. So while driving the driver was talking about the Palm Jumeirah. Actually this island is a tree shaped island and it's well known for its posh apartments and tower. Also it's very much popular for its views of Dubai coastline and the sail shaped Burj Al Arab Hotel. So we are going to get down at Atlantis Hotel. Atlantis is an ocean themed mega resort. It's a massive luxurious place with a lot of fun for the whole family. As we are running short of time, we won't be experiencing it much. But I would recommend spending at least 2-3 to three days here if you can. Hello, so by taxi we have reached to the uh, Atlantis. This is a huge gate, gate of Atlantis. This side is a beach. And that is the main entrance of Atlantis. Can't show you fully. It's so huge. Atlantis the palm can be visited for free, but you will only be able to visit the shopping gallery. Apart from this, you will have other options of entertainment and adventure like the Last Chamber, Aqua Venture, and Dolphinarium. This mall is a perfect blend of brands and stores that cater to a vast palette. You can spend a whole day in the most adventurous water park Aquaventure which is world's largest water park. You can also get your pulse racing with over 105 record breaking slides and attractions. And also you can relax on 1 km of private beach. Other than that, inside the Lost Chamber Aquarium, you will be able to experience 65,000 marine creatures in over 21 aquarium. It is designed like the Lost City of the Atlantis. Going forward, we were really surprised to see the way Atlantis was decorated in the theme of FIFA World Cup with different country flag and a big shining trophy of World Cup along with two player statue where we can pose and click photos for fun. Also here I saw a big chilling beach chair where I somehow managed to sit but were not able to get up. <laughs> so now we can see a big play zone. Many of these are interactive where kids can have very much fun. And in this place they have also arranged a bowling alley. So you can come with your friends and spend some quality time over here. 
and this whole area is surrounded with gorgeous restaurants and cafes so you can come on your special day here and have lunch and breakfast or dinner anything you want So there is no entry fee for Kite Beach if you are serious about your water sport and want to test your skill on one of the best beaches in Dubai, Kite Beach has plenty of challenges. It is located just off the Jumeirah neighborhood. You will find high quality equipment available to rent along the sand. Apart from water activities, it has been a heaven for kite surfers. The beach is famed for having crystal like white sand which further makes it one of the best locations to click your pictures. There is no wave. In India in sea beach there are waves but in this beach we don't see any wave. It's like kind of swimming pool. The water is very clear. So it's good. Along with the beach, there is a 14 km long running track which further makes the morning walk even more scenic. You can also book tent for overnight camping here and enjoy your weekend with your friends and family. It's a very good place for families, couples and also for a solo traveler. So it's time to leave the Kite Beach, our last destination in Dubai and get our luggages from our apartment and heading towards the airport. So we are leaving Dubai, we are leaving our apartment and we have booked the taxi and from here we will go to the metro station and going to visit the airport to go back to my home say bye bye Clayton residency will come again so now probably I'm having the last bus ride in Dubai and this feeling is really a bit emotional especially when you are coming to the age of a first international trip hope to visit dubai again you can find my whole dubai series guide in the description hope you guys have liked this video to watch more videos like this subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video see you guys in my next vlog till then take care bye bye so that was that we are on to the flight way to kolkata bye bye dubai